good job, teddy bear. And Lola still hasn't figured out how to stop barking when she starts. Her barker's broken. Hey, everyone, it's Rita. <coughs> From Miss Rita to the rescue. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Diane, Leslie. Hi, Eileen and Paralita. Nice to see you. And Gail, Diane, Sharon, and Shirley, of course, Shirley. And good morning, everyone. Leslie, I think I said Leslie twice. And Bren, how are you? Um, it is, I hope that I am streaming okay. Can you guys hear me and everything? Because I have a weird thing going on here. Oh, there we go. Can you hear me and everything? Good morning. Um, so we had a, I had a bit of a setback today um, with using the joy. I know that I said that this project was for the joy and the easy press mini, but when I went to log on to my joy from my iPad, my iPad was having trouble. Um, I think it's actually a problem of my iPad. So I didn't really want to mess with it. So, um, so I figured that, oh, wonderful Paralita. Thank you. I figured that, um, it's more important that we go over the mini press and using cardstock on the mini press than it is to use the joy for this, but just know that you can use the joy for this. And um, it is really pretty. Uh, it's a pretty, pretty thing. Also want to let you know that uh, Friday will be back Friday at the regular time. Last week we were, I was late because I had to take my mom somewhere. But um, we are going to have Friday, Friday freebie on Friday at the regular time. And we are going to get a freebie from uh, this place here. It's called Burton Avenue, B U R T O N A V E N U E dot com, Burton Avenue. This is Angie, and she has a whole library of free files. And you just simply have to, um, you have to just sign up for her emails, but her emails are great. She has a lot of great uh, tutorials here. And uh, she also, she makes her money on affiliate links. So um, this is the project we're going to be doing. I'm going to change it up a little bit because of course I am. Um, and, uh, but this is the one that we're going to do. I love the way that this curve in the, in the, um, in, in the writing. And also, um, I just want to tell you that I'm going to do this on a blackboard, like a, a chalkboard thing. I tried to do it yesterday for a long time. <laughs> I tried to do it as a um, iron on, but I just couldn't get it to stick right. So I'm going to go to our old favorite vinyl and use some vinyl to do that. So you might want to check your vinyl hoard and see um, if you can come up with two different, maybe a pattern. I'm going to change out this bunny a little bit, but I like this pattern that she used. So I'm going to follow her lead and do a pattern and then um, a, a regular card. Uh, I mean, not a regular, like a solid color. Okay. Um, so what are we doing today? Today we are going to be making an Easter egg banner that I've changed quite a bit and I want to show you how. Again, um, I can give you this file because it is all like changed around or you can find it in Design Space because these are Design Space images. Um, I did make some changes and I want to show you what I did. So we're going to start from scratch, but here it is and I have it Happy Easter and I've changed the color of the eggs. I changed the color of the letters and even the color of the writing, which wasn't super easy. So let me show you. We'll start from uh, the beginning and then uh, we'll put it together. There's, there's a, um, there is a, uh, there is a little thing I do with smart iron on for the, for the letters. Okay. So from your blank canvas, right, we're going to go to 
all images. We go to images first, and then you go all images, and then you go to image sets. Okay. And we are going to type in the word banner because that's what this is is a banner and i am a huge fan of banners i'm so glad that they've added quite a few of these in design space and you'll see there's like 50 different kinds and these are just so much fun to me i love 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 this mermaid one um i don't know if we did this but i will try to do it again in the summertime because it's so cool um, and you'll see that they have just all these different kinds, including this 4th of July banner, which we did do, and we used uh, rhinestones on it. Remember that? That was so much fun. I hope I can find that one. And there's a strawberry one that I really, really like. There's like Mardi Gras, and there's graduation. And of course, there's our friend that Papel Picado. Um, and there's Christmas and blah, 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 and all tons of it. And this is the one we're going to look for. It actually doesn't look that interesting compared to some of the others. So you have to really look for it. It's called Easter Bunny Banner. Okay. And let's click on that and have, um, have a look. Let's, yeah, here we go. So you can see that all of the letters of the alphabet, inclu including the also the numbers, and then there's the um, N with the tilde on it, and also some punctuation here. So I'm going to just go through and choose the letters that we're going to use. We're going to spell out happy Easter. Um, so let's choose H and A. We don't need to click on P twice because uh, we will just duplicate it in our um, in our in our thing. I'm going to use this, and I don't see the Y, but I'm looking for it. There it is. Um, and then Easter is spelled with an R um, and an S, and an E. Where's the E? E E E Easter. E. And did I get the A already? I think I did. Uh, e, e A S T. Did I get the T? There's T. And I got the E already. And then let's also choose the exclamation point. So once we choose those all, we're going to add them to our um, to our canvas. And there are going to be a few things that we're going to change about this, um, these, because I wanted to use all the pastel colors. And, um, and so I wanted to change out the colors. So I actually picked up a few colors, like a yellow, green, uh, like a purple, an orange, and a bluish green, or a blue actually, and a pink. So when these come in, I'm going to set them up, and then I'm going to choose the colors um, based on where they sit. So, snow, oh my gosh, Tara, wow. Okay, so here they are, and you see they all have the yellow um, so let's spread them out. So there's our H. Uh, all right. So here's our H. Let's put that up here. And there's our A. And there's our P. We're going to duplicate the P. And then there's Y. And where's our E? E. Where is E? E. And we're going to duplicate that A. E A S T E A S T E R Easter. You know, Easter comes from the word Ostera, which was a spring Celtic holiday. Um, and it's that's why the eggs, because Ostera has a meaning of um, or the Celtic meaning of the eggs. So springtime eggs and things like that, in case you were wondering. So here we go. We have all the letters we want and here they are. Happy Easter. But of course I wasn't 
too keen on a couple of things. One, I didn't want all yellow. I wanted some different colors. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the right hand side and I am going to look at each of the letters. Okay. And um, so here is E. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to change the E that comes or the, the letters that are going to be uh, cut out out of um, out of iron on. So I want to change them to this really pretty gold that I have. Here it is. It's called gold matte and it is smart iron on. You don't need to use smart iron on. You can use whatever you like. Um, you don't even have to use iron on if you want to use vinyl, you can do that too. But here I am going to be changing and I want to have a look. So I'm going up here to the operation for color and I'm going to choose this to represent gold. You see that? So now I could do that for every single egg, but the easy way to change that is with color sync. So I go to color sync and I am going to take and move all the blue letters into the yellow letters. And you'll see them on the screen start to shift to the yellow. So that's representing gold for me. And let's see, click. And now it's just way too yellowy, right? So let's go over here and let's make some changes. First, let's change the, um, the background of this. So this is how we ungroup it. And so there's our iron on, right? And then there's our, our piece that has both writing and cutting. And then there is the background. So let's go ahead and start off. H can be yellow. And then we can make, or maybe we'll make H blue. All right. So I've got to click on that layer and I'll make it blue. Okay. So that is change number two. So out of A, we can either ungroup it or you can go over here and just choose that layer. You see that basic cut and then we can choose a different color. So let's do pink and then P let's do, I don't know, purple. And they don't have to match. They don't have to be exactly the color of your paper. So you just want to make it so that it's different. And what else can we do? We did pink, purple, and we'll do yellow. And then because we're going to string this up in two strands. Um, so the Easter will start. I don't want it to be hanging under the H as blue. So what I'll do is I will leave it yellow and then I'll go to A and um, I'll kind of do it backwards. So we'll do green and then purple. Purple. I think this is the right purple. And then we'll do this one as pink. But you notice if I click on a grouped image, it says up here, a question mark. So um, you, what you're going to do is if it's grouped, you're just going to use this right hand side and choose that particular layer. Okay. And that's how you would change the color. So let's change this to pink and then blue. Easter obviously is a longer word than happy. Um, and let's see. Let's see, let's see. So we'll do that one as yellow and this one as blue, I guess. I think the way that I did this was once I had changed the colors, I um, decided that I wanted to look over, oops, sorry, I did the Siri again. Oh, come on. I don't want Siri. Sorry, sorry, Siri. Bye. Um, so I went to color sync and I wanted to make sure that each of the eggs had two, two colors. I think, um, I was trying to go for. And so I realized that I didn't have one color counted for. So let's go over there and add what color am I missing? Oh, I'm missing, uh, orange. So let's go ahead and, um, change this one to an orange. 
it's not the right orange, but um, then we can do, uh, we need to make one orange. So let's do, I think that that switched it up for, so look, I've got one orange now. I need to make one blue. There we go. And that's perfect. All right, we're almost done, ready to cut. But I wanted to show you something about the writing aspect. So on this, the pen is orange and it's orange for all of them. Okay. So you don't have to do this, but if you want to get like an, uh, like a visual of what this is going to look like, and you don't want to use the orange pen, you can change the color of the pen. Um, and you do that by, again, we're looking over here on the right hand side. Unfortunately, you cannot use color sync for this for this part you have to actually go to that letter and you go, you look here on the layers and look for the one that says pen once you've selected that you can come up here to operation and next to the operation where it says pen you can choose a different color so in this case i chose like a teal blue peacock blue they call it um and i thought oh i think i like that so in my eye i didn't like the orange so i did change it you do not need to change it because the machine doesn't know what color you're putting in but i just wanted to show you that's how you would do it now say you wanted to match the gold with say um foil and you wanted to do this whole like bunny theme um, in foil, this is where you would also do it. So you would click on that layer that says pen and you would come over here to um, operation and you would choose foil. Okay, fine. And then it would change it to foil. So this is how you would change it to foil if you wanted to. Um, and uh, you'd have to do it for every single one that has the pen, but I don't wanna do it that way. So I'm just gonna switch it back to pen and I will um, switch it to the, oh, will choose turquoise. But once you have made changes on one, you either have to go through and change them all, or you have to, um, change them back to the color that you had them at and um, that this is a little labor intensive so which is why i would suggest you know if you're just looking for oh this is the this is you know i'm going to use my own color pen you know um all right so now we're ready to cut this out. I'm not going to cut these out for you today. I already cut them out. They are extremely labor intensive. Not only do you have this uh, bunny, so the bunny writing and everything, but then there's all these little cuts around the letters and it looks really cool. Um, but I just, mm, just don't, uh, just don't want to cut it out another time. But I do want to go over here to the Cricut Heat Guide, which you guys know I always do this, and it's important to do it. And I'm going to use my Easy Press Mini today. That's the little one. And we're going to um, use heat transfer material that is part of the everyday iron on it's actually kind of metallic so it's part of that first one uh, we'll choose that and then for the base material we're just going to use cardstock did you know you could iron on cardstock you can and it's a lot of fun so um that's what we're going to do we'll hit apply and we see that there is a preheating of five seconds and then we're going to turn our machine on low. So let's get down and do that. I'll move you down here. Okay. So here I have my, my easy press mat, the small one. Let me just move this over. 
and I have my Easy Press Mini. I'm just going to press that button once so that I can have it on low and it can heat up. It just takes a minute to heat up. And here are all my eggs that I've cut out and sorted. This was one that I already did. I did the A, then I left the rest for us to do. Yeah, is it fun? Yes, you can iron on cardstock. And it's not even going against what we've, you know, what we're suggested to do. I like to iron on all kinds of things. We also ironed on metal. I, uh, I've ironed on wood. Oh, we do a lot of iron on. So we're just waiting for this to heat up. Now, it did suggest that we um, preheat it for five seconds. And so we will do that. But one of the things I did notice about this is um, sometimes when you heat it up, if you're not keeping it moving, it can a little bit uh, warp the paper. So what I would suggest is that when you're heating it up, you do the whole area because um, if you just focus it on the middle, I think that is what can cause the warping. Okay. So there we go. Now I cut, I cut this out it, on this on the smart vinyl, and then I just separated each letter and I, matched up the letter to each of the um, backgrounds. So you'll see there's the P. And so we're going to do this. What did it say? 25 seconds. So it's going to take a little bit of time. Um, you want to keep it moving around. And I think I will move it around the whole piece because I don't want the paper to warp. So while I'm doing this, and then we'll we'll glue it together and string it up. Um, I wanted to tell you, um, this is where I get to talk. Oh, by the way, somebody told me I said um too much, and now all I'm thinking about is how many times I say um. <laughs> so um, here I go. I don't know, you know. Oh, and be careful here. See, I actually cut or ripped that right there. I'm going to have to go back and glue it on. So there I think is 25 seconds. So we're just going to keep moving here. I love the way this color looks. Um, so that's cool. And we're going to put the P in there. So um, I wanted to remind you, please, please, please get your name in for the giveaway. Um, in April, I am giving away not $500 worth of stuff, but actually $1,100 worth of Cricut um, materials, including one of these as a, as a, um, it's like a bundle that has a whole bunch of this uh, iron on in it. I don't think it's smart iron on. I think it's just regular iron on, but you could still cut it on your joy or whatever you want to cut it on. Um, and including one of these little mats, which is really, I love those mats. So, um, anyway, uh, there's a lot I'm giving away this month and it's a slight change in how, I, how we do it. So I'm able to give away even more stuff. And, um, there I go with the um again. And, <laughs> and there's only, you only have to enter once, although you can enter every day of the contest. It's not really a contest, it's a giveaway. So the first time that you enter, you have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel. If you're already subscribed, thank you very much. Um, the goal of these giveaways is to reward people who subscribe to my YouTube channel, which is very nice. And um, so after you subscribed, you can enter again, as long as you like, comment, or share. Um, there I go with the alms. And you like, comment, and share any one of my, let's see, how many videos do I have? Over 900 videos on my YouTube channel. And so there's something for everybody that has a cricket. And even for people who don't have crickets, uh, there's a few crafty things like how to hand finger knit a chunky blanket and stuff, which 
believe it or not, it's a very popular uh, video on my channel. So, or at least it was this past winter. Anyway, so um, this is what you would do. You just kind of like, share, and comment so that the word can get out about me. And we can have more people watching and then I grow into some famous Instagram YouTuber, whatever. <laughs> Not really. I'm happy with, with our growth. And we just hit a milestone of 20,000 uh, subscribers, which is great. But, you know, you always have to change it up. And so my new goal is 25 and that I'm going to make by the end of the year. I have to put that out in the universe. Yes, I will make it by the end of the year, 25,000. Um, let's see. The other thing that I just started is if you are one of my patreon patrons and also i want to say also you can be supporting me on facebook with i don't know what they call it facebook fans or something so i'm going to um give one of my supporters in either patreon or facebook fans an opportunity to win a cricket cutie and i am going to choose the color i'm going to do this every month um, as a, an incentive for people to support me and also win a cricket cutie. If you don't know what a cricket cutie is, let me show you. This is a cricket cutie and it is a little, it doesn't do anything. People have asked me that, ex except it just gives you inspiration. Um, and the reason it's uh, a bug is because um, when the company first started, they wanted people to remember that the name is pronounced cricket, like like a bug, instead of cry cut or whatever else they they chose. I don't know what else they chose. Circuit, circuit. They also said circuit. Um, my sister called it circuit for a long time. So anyway. This is a Cricut Cutie. They were introduced, I think, in 2017. And uh, there are all different colors. And I happen to have almost all, I think, of the colors. And I want to give them away. I have a lot of them. And I can't display all of them. So I decided that I'm going to give away my... Um, my I have some extras like doubles and everything so I'll go through my whole box and each month if you are a patron or a Facebook fan you'll have the opportunity of winning one of these little uh, fellas girl boy I don't know what they are creatures and um, so that's a little thank you from me and, and it's over and above my usual uh, giveaways okay so there's that. Um, and we're almost done here. <clears throat> and you see, I'm not peeling these off. I'm going to wait till they cool. But um, I just want to make sure we do it right and keep and doing it as cool as possible is generally the best way to remove these. Almost done. Now, I... When I first started doing these, I, I did glue them together. I thought that it was better that way. You don't have to glue them together, I suppose, because um, because the holes are in there and you could just line them up. But I think it's going to look more polished if you do. So let's, after we remove all of our little... Uh, letters and the plastic over them. I'm going to just remove the plastic. We, uh, we will glue them together. I was so excited to see on my YouTube page that the folks at Barely Art, who are the, the people that um, make this glue, this is the my glue of choice these days. It's called Barely Art Precision Craft Glue. And um, they commented on my, on my page. So they wanted to just uh, thank 
us for working on their, um, I'm sorry, using their SVGs. So we'll get back to using their SVGs again. But remember, this Friday, um, we're going to do Burton Avenue. Maybe we'll do a Barely Art one next week. They have a new program at Barely Art. Uh, I don't know if it's that new, but it's called Cards for Cubs. And it's like a card um, making scheme that, not uh, scheme, plan, I guess, to send cards to kids. I guess they're sick kids. I'm not terribly sure, but they're, they've started to do like uh, freebies on Friday or something like that, uh, lives on Friday. So you might want to check them out. And if you... Um, if you don't know where to find them, you can find them at barely and it's B E A R L Y barely dot art. You don't need a dot com or anything in there. It's just barely dot art. And, um, you can go there and check out their glue. And also you can check out, um, the SVGs that they offer. I really like this glue. I, I think I, I buy it on Amazon and I want to thank our friend Don, who is the one that alerted us to it. So I'm glad I, I would formally, I would use this art glitter glue, which I still have. Um, but I really, really like this glue. It's particularly like the tip which can be like unscrewed and cleaned. And then there's this precision tip right here. So now I'm going back and gluing and I don't have to get that precise, but I could, if I wanted to, I'm gluing the egg part, the one with the letters onto the backing here. Nothing to it. This would be a really fun project to do with the grands. And, um, you know, each of you have one or work together. I don't know. I just think even if you had two grands, you could do this together. It's fun. Um, and then you can have a nice celebratory banner. I glued more of these than I thought I did. Um, and I keep saying, um, I keep saying, um, you guys. Oh, that's terrible. Like I remember one time I had to give a deposition and I said, because you just taught and it was before I did these videos. So it was weird because you're just talking the entire time. And I said, because I, I wanted, I don't know. I wanted agreement. I kept saying, you know, and then I read the deposition and I could not believe how many times I said, you know, and <laughs> I was like, wow, I got to stop that. But apparently I haven't stopped the umming. But this was a video that I did. Oh, it's at least a year old. So maybe I'm better at it. But now I'm, I'm hearing myself say it. So. And by talking about it, then I will get better at it. That's how it works, right? Now, tomorrow, we are doing a really, I have had a blast with this project. It is a $1.25 Dollar Tree uh, cutting board that I found when I went to the Dollar Tree. And they it's kind of a shame that they up their prices makes it a little bit harder to say that it, you know, a dollar tree item, a dollar 25 tree item. Um, but anyway, I found these cutting boards, both round and square. They're about seven and three quarter inches. Um, and they are so cute. $1 and they're $1 and 25 cents. And they are, um, I can turn off my mini, but if I forget, it will turn out off on its own. Okay. So here also is some Baker's twine. I love this twine. I love Baker's twine, but I love it in this cheery yellow. So I'm going to cut two, um, two strands. First one is for the happy 
and so H A P P Y. Um, and so what was I saying? Okay. So what I decided to do for the cutting board, because I remember we did the, um, armor etch, uh, Pyrex and I wasn't like too keen on how it came out because it was Pyrex and it's a lot thicker. And, um, I did really spread that armor etch on quite a bit, but, um, so I decided, Hey, these, these uh these inexpensive things i can test on and um i did it and the armor etch came out really nice but then i decided since it was already frosted because it has a frosted front to it that i was going to um, look for a way to color it and i found this great stuff it's called rub and buff rub and buff it comes in different metallic finishes i got the um gilded or gold leaf i think and there's also like an antique gold i did get that one but the silver one wasn't in stock so i didn't get a silver one anyway i tried it out last night and it worked great and now I'm having a problem here with the thing. But it worked really awesomely. So I'm going to show you uh, tomorrow how to do that. And it's really not that messy if you follow the steps that uh, I did. And I hope that you like it because it's really cool. And I was just thinking, you know, I'm going to probably give one to my sister. It makes a cute little gift. But uh, also maybe, whoops, A. Also maybe like a housewarming gift or I don't know, somebody when they, yeah, when they first buy a new house or something because it says bless this kitchen. There's also ones that say like bless this home. And the image that I used is from Design Space. So I'll show you that. So I really need my, uh, my needle because my, my thing, my twine keeps getting, oh, I know what I can do. Let's do this. We'll cut this and I'll get a tiny piece of tape and I will stick it on the end, kind of like, uh, what do they call it? An ag aglet, which is the end of a shoelace. I think it's called an aglet, aglet. You learn things from me. Isn't that wonderful? Yeah, I'm wonderful. <laughs> um, okay, so today I'm going down to the YMCA, going swimming. My friend Linda's down there now. And so I think that's really cool. I was up at the crack of dawn because today was Owen's first. Well, it was really just, it's really just a shadow day. He's going to be moving over from a private school to um the high school i think in the fall okay so there's happy now if you want to keep the uh, eggs from moving around you can flip them over and put a little tiny piece of tape and that will hold them there just like that you say it's not moving and personally i like to do that just because i don't I want them to be evenly spaced apart. And so I do do this. All right. And move it over and evenly space it. Yeah, so he was pretty excited about going to, it's like a shadow day. So he's gone to the high school. I'm a little scared. That high school is big. Uh, I'm sure he'll be okay. It's, it's a, it's a, like a special school within a school type of thing. So he won't have to get his, uh, do his studies with like hundreds. There's literally hundreds of kids in the school and it's just like kind of a sectioned off part of the school. Very nice. Anyway, so there it's happy. So we can move this up here. Let's get some more twine. Um, there we go. 
So we're almost done here. Again, we're going to do this right by putting in the aglet. I think it's called an aglet. It's not an eyelet. I think it's an aglet. I remember because I once saw, did anybody ever, this is because Owen uh, grew up in that time, but the early 2000s, the aughts, um, had a TV show called Phineas and Ferb. And I really liked this show. It had a really catchy premise. Um, and these were really the clever kids that were brothers. <laughs> I think they were adopted brothers and one was kind of silent. I think that was Ferb. And then Phineas was sort of like the uh, Bart Simpson kid, but they used to make all these like inventions, like these crazy inventions. And they also had a, um, it was, it was a musical program. It was, it was definitely one of the better uh, developed programs for kids but i just loved it it was very clever that was that program that let me see there were two other programs that we always watched and one was called um, rough roughman the rough roughman show and that one was produced in in boston it was a little like dog but he the dog worked with uh he was he was uh, like a animated dog right but he worked with like live people and they went all around Boston, Massachusetts, everywhere. And they had these like mysteries that they had to solve. That was really fun. And then the other one was called the upside down show, um, which was out of Australia. And these two guys, very clever guys that would, have a topic they didn't have a whole lot of these shows but they would have like a topic and they would do a lot of physical comedy around them they were just really funny and so those were like basically the three shows that owen really loved to watch when he was a kid that in the movie the polar express man i must have seen that polar express like a billion times and nuts kind of not exaggerating i mean i had it on constant play from when he was three to probably around five or six like 24 7. he just loved 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 that movie loved trains and everything but he's grown up now boy i just turned that thing on and he even if he wasn't paying attention he had to watch it um, he had to have it on. So I think it was that sameness that he liked. All right. We're almost done here. Uh, sorry for my. Yeah, he is. He's coming into his own. He really is. He um, He's thinking about taking. Uh, see, the thing about his school is it's a great school. And um, it really, really helped him to develop and as a student and everything, but they don't have a lot of electives. And at his age, he's kind of exploring what he is going to be doing with his life. And he's sort of, uh, oh, I put this one in wrong. Huh? Interesting. I put it in wrong. Well, I'll just tape it like this. No one's going to notice. They're going to notice. But um, anyway, he's He's really into art right now, but I don't know if that's going to be a constant. So I want him to, um, to be able to take some electives. So uh, they have like art classes at the high school that he will be able to take, but he'll still be able to do his core curriculum at the, uh, at this school so he'll be in a small group setting for the core curriculum like math and history and so that he passes and does get his diploma because i said the number one thing is you just have to graduate with a diploma because <laughs> that i don't care what you want to do with your life but you just have to graduate with a diploma and so he said okay and uh, so now he can take art, he can take drama, he can take, I don't know, yearbook, 
He can do after school activities, which he's really wanted to do um, for the last couple of years. He wants to have a normal high school um, high school experience. So this is going to be um, this is going to be an interesting. Of course, mom is nervous anyway so uh because i worked really hard to get him into that other school anyway so there it is thanks for listening to me too <laughs> so this is a happy beast easter bunny banner look at how cute this bunny thing is isn't that adorable cute little bunny with the flower and i think it looks really good in that more of a pop color and then that beautiful gold metallic easter banner so i'm gonna go try to find a place to string this up i think maybe in the kitchen um and I'm, i might have to go back and change this because look i i messed up here and i know nobody's gonna notice but i noticed so i might have to go back and change it up anyway that's it for today um thank you uh um and and that's it for today i'm just looking at the chat so i hope you try this out it's really fun you know obviously you don't have to just do easter you could do spring you can do egg hunt if you're having an egg hunt um or whatever you want to choose you could even do he is risen which is um a typical uh thing to write for easter and uh, i just think it's really cute egg banner i'm glad to have it so um thanks again for coming today make sure just as your reminder that you're putting your name in for the giveaway because this is a really i love my little mini i think it's awesome and um and i even had this is the one that the dog chewed <laughs> and so there you go and then the dog chewed the uh what's the other thing that she it was lola that chewed the uh glue gun she chewed my glue gun always with the glue gun anyway all right everybody thanks for coming today um i hope you have a lovely day and we will see you again tomorrow for that really fun project with the gilding um and our giveaway uh, not a giveaway and our glazing or etching, glass etching. All right. Take care of yourselves. Get some crafting in. Okay.